moi levé jodi a et moi di moi ka y fè on vit ma pwese dou van jou ve jan of Kalibishi Chronicle today because I remember back in the day dou van jou my grandfather Mr. Nibs Alexander me he rest in eternal peace used to wake me up my sister and I so we could go to Savan pa early get the little food that we need daddy would walk us halfway back put us in the Charles Court tell us how to continue cross the river get back home in time so my grandmother would cook the food for us before we go to school so early morning times were time for our chores we had to go to the garden and come back then do our, ho our work at home go to bathe by the river come back then to go to school <laughs> so this Duvan Jude, I mean it's not quite early because it's for me it's a little after seven in the morning. But morning time brought a lot of energy in the Kalibishi community and in our home for sure. Because while children sleeping now to wake up at eight o'clock to go to school for nine, we had to be up at 445 to pot a man to get ready to go to school. Anyway, that's a long story that we can deal on another episode of Kalibishi Chronicle. But what I wanted to get into today was the fact that we as boys and some of the girls, I have to call Avu, Avanel, that, that was our girl, guy, boy. I mean, Avanel was everything. She was one of the boys then, so to speak. Well, one of the guys. Well, one of us. She was part of our crew. Avu, I love you. You safe. <laughs> Avo and I think Monica to some extent as well used to try to ramp with the boys. Strong girls, very determined. Good soldiers to have on your side. So they used to follow us. Eddie. Rudolph Grieve, although Grieve might have been a year or two ahead of us. But Rudolph was wrong as well. And I won't call more names because I may get fellas in trouble. But Richard used to be there, very quiet Richard. <laughs> he used to be around as well. When we used to go up to the little hill right above the school. Back in the day. Well, we didn't go to the old school. I cannot remember taking classes in the old school. But there was an old wooden school. Right towards the center of the cricket area, plain area of the savannah. At the schoolyard. I think the school was closer to where the new school was constructed. But more towards the center of the field. I remember the school quite vividly. And that was the first place I saw my, my matinee. And the first matinee I saw, I think I might have said that in another episode. It was called Thunder Kick. So the younger children would watch matinee during the afternoon and the bigger people would watch cinema at night and that was that was taking place at the Calibishi school it was a wooden school with big windows I remember I remember seeing children sitting down under coconut tree outside of the school taking their lessons and I did, did I go to school there I don't think I did because the new Calibishi school opened in the 1970s somewhere there in the mid 70s and I was still a kid, a little kid at that time. Maybe just finding my way. As I said before, I was going to Didin School, Makiapum School. Right across from Jean Shop, the Maki Kid Shop. Well, the, the downstairs of Kiapum House was a class for the younger children. That's where I went to school at first. And being one of the brighter boys, I was tasked with taking the register from Makiapum School to the big school. That's why I know about the big school, but I didn't go to the big wooden school. I went to the big school, but it was the concrete school that was built in 1970-something. Anyway, the point I was trying to make, I didn't even get into the point, and my time come, my time go, I'll continue. Or I'll attempt to make the point on the next episode of Calibishi Chronicle. The Duvanjou version is done now. <laughs>